how are you doing we welcome you all to the hands-on video impressions and unreported changes demo of the build 14356 the build 14356 is the latest redstone mobile build that microsoft has pushed to insiders in fast free and the build brings it with itself some uh, changes and uh, we have also explored and found uh, some ui changes and we will demo that and we will also uh, share our impressions of the build with you so let's begin with uh, change i mean demo of the changes so as you can see now again uh, there are some changes in how the uh, notifications appear in the action center so from the transparent uh, action icon in the uh, notification center that we saw with the build 14342 it has regained its color but the change of from of the date so the date was usually uh, here but it moved to there so that that remains but the only the color is back so as as some of you suggested maybe microsoft can provide a of uh, an option of getting it so whether you want the icon to be transparent or some with some color okay so now going to settings you can see some changes so microsoft has now highlighted this uh, title so the settings title will be you know that uh, i mean it's it's a font size has increased immensely so it's like i think uh, if you talk, talk about the heading so it's some kind of heading format but uh, the <clears throat> rest of the text remains same like a paragraph or something in that size even if you go to sub settings you will see that now Earlier, if you uh, have or you if you are on uh, the older build like 143, 142, you will see a uh, settings here, but that is that has gone missing. So this is another change. If you go to act, go to the update and security, then you will see that Windows Insider program has got a new icon. So you can compare it with uh, build 14342. You will see the icon has changed. If you go to Cortana, you can notice changes in the Cortana UI. And if you go to the settings, okay, from here we'll go to the settings. So in settings, you see some changes. So earlier, So uh, the lock screen part, five flights and more. Send away. So edit sync settings. So here now, if you talk about what all the notification can be synced. So missing phone, low battery warning, and missed call can be synced between a connected PC with the same MSA or same Microsoft account that, that the phone has got. So if the uh, PC and it has same Microsoft account, these things can be synced. The language we have already shared with you. What are the changes? Apart from this, if we again go to settings, okay. So these are basically the, I mean, kind of UI changes. Obviously, these are minor changes, even if you talk about UI changes, but Microsoft is now uh, trying to polish things. It would not bring lots of or any big UI changes, but the smaller UI changes for a polish. Because uh, it's not like the uh, anniversary update release is not far away. So obviously Microsoft uh, would be trying to finalize the things here. Now going to the hands-on and how the build behaves actually. So we will just uh, open the native apps and do a bit of multitasking and we will try to see with you how the build actually behaves when we do things with it. The store app, as you can see, it, it has happened, actually it has improved a lot.
the scrolling etc it has always been good and the good thing about this build uh, 14356 is that i mean it has been uh, free from crashes till now it has not crashed for us even a single time we will obviously check other things like we we complained about the ram management that we saw uh, one or two of the apps disappearing while uh, we sent them to the background so that was something that microsoft should improve we told and we will obviously check it in front of you how i mean that we have basically so let's open microsoft edge Uh, as you know on redstone builds you have the microsoft edge version 14 that has a very good html score we'll just check it once in front of you so that you can see actually so it's a 463 out of 555 quite good Let's open one or two more so that it can give us a good idea about how actually the build behaves, where it can handle things. Okay, good. Quite fast actually. as you can notice uh, things remain really fast pages load very fast okay and uh, it just went back so <laughs> it all works fast like the microsoft days has improved a lot that's what we can mention we can uh, tell you from our experience of playing with this build good actually yeah going back is so good actually swipe is so intuitive let's send you to the background let's open the cortana again so that it can be used for uh, checking the multitasking. Let's open the Maps app. Let's see how the camera works. Very fast actually. It remains quite impressive. Let's send it to the background again. Instagram. Let's open this app as well. So let's check the multitasking part now.
but as we can notice one of the tabs has disappeared from Microsoft Edge so it seems still there are like uh, some scope of improvements in terms of RAM management because if when we send it to the background it should not disappear Microsoft may let it suspend but disappearing is something which is uh, not good actually I mean that can be very annoying So till now what we can uh, tell you is that the build is quite smooth it's really uh, we have I mean it's very responsive quite fast actually if you look at the things you will see that uh, whatever we try to open it opens really fast actually not many uh, I mean not many chances to complain or not many places where can complain about but uh, Talking about the RAM management, it's, it's something like surprising. I mean, we have also uh, noticed the same thing and reported uh, when we were like uh, doing the hands-on for the build 14342 and it should be improved because it's something which is related to usability. And But it's not a, such a big issue, but we can see that sometimes when you open too many apps, actually one or two app cards will disappear itself. Here the apps did not disappear, but at least in Microsoft Edge, we saw that one tab disappeared. So, I mean kind of so it should be uh, I mean it should have been a under consideration of Microsoft engineer that they improve the RAM management talking about battery life etc the build is uh, the build has been good actually because last two builds they brought changes or improvements in the battery life in case of our device the Lumia 640 XL that we are uh, the demoing the build on we have seen that the battery life has been good actually it, it if it let's just check actually uh, so that you get an idea about how the battery has been so you can see 46 percent and it says estimated time remaining 13 hours 58 minutes so in that sense uh, in our case it's really uh, with a full charge it goes off like around uh, 23 24 hours and uh, that too with a i mean heavy uses so the Max 640 XL is itself known for a very good battery life and with this build it's just exactly good actually so I mean you have a proof in front of you that uh, it's really going for like 23-24 hours for us on average so it's good so that's it uh, for you so the build behaves well as in it's fast and responsive we have not actually seen lots of issues yeah yeah we, we actually covered one of the issue that is there it's not an issue i don't think what microsoft has done here why uh, it has removed so if you open any of the image so the uh, options of set as background or set as lock screen has been removed and this is something which should not have been done because uh, pretty um, i have i myself use it uh, many times if i have to set a lock screen or background from the gallery or photos itself it has gone so something that should be that should be back actually i don't know why microsoft removed it but it should be back we hope it's there apart from this we did not really see lots of issue here the build is quite quite good actually as we can see the battery life is also good uh, it is fast responsive no crashes but the ram management still needs a bit of improvement even uh, the microsoft edge i don't know what was the issue but it seems that when we sent the microsoft edge to the background one of the tab crashed or was gone so i mean these kind of things can be improved it's not a very big deal but still it should be improved for better usability so with that we come to end of this video hope you have liked the video stay tuned for more thanks